What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure setup and it is Elimination Chamber Edition. So in today's video, guys, we do have a brand new WWE action figure set up for you guys. We got the full arena. We have the real scale Elimination Chamber brought out for the Elimination Chamber 2019. The pay-per-view is on Sunday. I'm super duper excited for it. The Elimination Chamber, one of my favorite stipulations, one of my favorite matches. I'm super excited for the show, and this has the makings to be one of the best chamber matches ever, I think. I know that there are some rumors going around that Mustafa Ali may not be in the matchup, and if that is true, then this will be a little bit inaccurate, but it's it's not that big of a deal, guys. I'm going to take you through the setup. We got the full arena, not only the backstage area, but of course the Elimination Chamber is full as well, guys. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll start off in the backstage area. All right, guys, we're going to start off in the backstage area, and I guess we can start out over here in the corner. We have Bobby Trashley and his sidekick, Leo Rush. They are on the uh, trainer's table right there. They're on the trainer's table because they lost, man. They lost. I believe it is a two-on-one handicap match. And Finn Balor can pin either Leo Rush or Bobby Trashley to win the Intercontinental Championship. And I'm going to predict that Finn Balor does do that. I think my boy Finn Balor is going to overcome the odds. He's going to overcome Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush. I used to love Leo Rush, but the way they book him on TV is just... I, they, they do a good job of making him annoying, man. I can't even listen to him. Um, he was my favorite independent wrestler for a long time, and now I just can't even look at him. But anyways, hopefully uh, Finn Balor can get it done. But right here, he's at the trainer's table because both of them could not get the job done. And Finn Balor is your new Intercontinental Champion. Right here, guys, we have some some sort of symbolism right here. This is sort of symbolism for the despise that I have for Nia Jax. I'm not a big Nia Jax fan, as you can tell. I think that, you know, the, the rumors about intergender matches coming back and Dean Ambrose and Nia Jax supposedly having a match at a live event and possibly them, you know, having a few going forward, then this is just sort of the symbolism of that plus me not liking Nia Jax very much. So this is Dean Ambrose giving a dirty deeds to Nia Jax on the concrete. There's no ill will towards Nia Jax. I just think she's not a very good wrestler. I don't like her character. And this is just sort of that symbolism of that. So there is a dirty deeds to Nia Jax on the concrete. In the middle of the floor right here, guys, we have the United States Champion R-Truth talking it up with The Miz and Shane McMahon. Obviously, Shane McMahon and The Miz both have a tag team title match with The Usos. The Usos trying to capture those SmackDown Live tag team championships. And I don't I don't think that the Usos are going to succeed. I think that they're really going to be pushing this Miz Shane McMahon tag team. So I think that they're going to be getting the job done here. I think they will retain in their first defense. And the besties, Shane McMahon and the Miz, will retain. And they're sort of talking to R Truth right here. At this moment, R Truth does not have a matchup. Uh, this could change. This is obviously being filmed before SmackDown Live, before Elimination Chamber. So R Truth could have a matchup with Rusev or Nakamura, possibly both of them. So if that is true, then I guess you can disregard this part of the video. But R Truth sort of talking it up like, what? Man, what's up, man? I'm the U.S. champion. I'm the U.S. champion. We don't even have a freaking match on Elimination Chamber. So that's what we got right there. If we come to the front, here's some symbolism. We have Brock Lesnar. I guess you can... He's not in the backstage area right here with this vehicle. This is him in his uh, 2019 Camaro, not even in the arena. He's in the parking lot, or he's off in the highway somewhere doing his thing. He's got his shades on. He's all comfy in his high-dollar ride with his Universal Championship, his precious Universal Championship riding shotgun with him. And uh, Brock Lesnar is just doing what Brock Lesnar wants. He doesn't have to defend his title. He doesn't have to show up to Elimination Chamber. He's got his match at Mania with Seth Rollins and that's all that freaking matters. So Brock Lesnar just taking it easy and he's uh, going on because Seth Rollins is unable to compete right now. He doesn't have anything going on and yeah, Brock Lesnar just chilling in his car and not even close to the Elimination Chamber Arena. If we go just beyond that, guys, we have Akira Tozawa. He's sort of down on himself. I think that he will lose in his efforts versus Buddy Murphy. I know that Akira Tozawa is either a one- or two-time Cruiserweight champion, and I don't think he's going to capture that second or third. I can't remember how many he has. But I think Buddy Murphy is going to win here. So I think Akira Tozawa is going to be bummed out after his matchup with Buddy Murphy. They should have a good match, but I don't think Akira Tozawa can do enough to get the job done. So Akira Tozawa is sort of down on himself here after he loses in an effort versus Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight title. Just beyond that, we have Braun Strowman. And uh, guys, I'm going to use this as a, as a freaking just sort of a rant right here. Why in the hell would anyone care about a Trash Corbin versus Braun Strowman matchup 
at Elimination Chamber. I am so sick of both of them. You guys know how I feel about Trash Corbin. I've never been a Baron Corbin fan. I think he's awful. Um, he has got he had a lot better 2018 than before, but I don't like his character. I don't think he has really any talent. Like he's decent in the ring. His his mic skills are just atrocious. And Braun Strowman, my my ship sailed on him forever ago. So this is probably one of my least favorite matches. To date, I, I, I do not care about this match. I won't even watch this match. I literally have no use for it. Unless they added some sort of stipulation about maybe a possible winner gets this or something. I still don't think that would interest me, man. I don't like this match, and this is my symbol symbolism of it. Just Braun Strowman getting rid of Trash Corbin. Just just get rid of it. Just get rid of the whole matchup. In the back up here, guys, we have Ronda Rousey with her Raw Women's Championship. She's leaving the arena because she mopped up Ruby Riot. And she's on her way out the door to the parking lot to get out of here because she got her paycheck, she got her stuff, and she's out of there. I think this matchup will be good. Ronda Rousey's always been good in her... Every single match she's had has interested me a lot. So I think that Ronda will collect her check, retain her title, and go on to WrestleMania 35 versus Becky Lynch. Right here, speaking of women's champs, we got the SmackDown Live Women's Champion just sort of walking around because she has no matchup thus far on the Elimination Chamber card. I don't think she will have a matchup. And I think that, yeah, she's just sort of walking around doing her own thing because she has nothing to worry about. She doesn't have a challenger. She's just sort of resting and checking out the rest of the field. Back here, guys, we have the tag teams. We have the Usos who lost to Shane McMahon and Miz earlier in the night. They're sort of talking it up with, of course, Jimmy Uso with Naomi and then Carmella with Jay because um, those two are obviously a couple, but the other two were in a tag team effort to try and capture the women's tag team championships in that elimination chamber to crown the first ever t uh, tag team champion for the women, and they lost. Both of them lost in their efforts, so they're just sort of consoling each other, talking about what happened at the matchup and during their matches, and that's what we got going on right here. And right here in the middle, we got Corey Graves discussing with Finn Balor. My boy Finn Balor is going to finally capture that Intercontinental title and Corey Graves is conducting an interview with the brand new Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor. He's got his red tights on. He's looking good. No demon needed tonight. Finn Balor gets it done and captures that Intercontinental Championship and he's going to go on a lengthy run. Hopefully he retains at Mania. Maybe brings out the demon for whoever he fights at Mania and we get a really good matchup and he can retain as the demon at Mania. I think that'd be really nice to see. Even though Finn Balor deserves the main event, I'll take an Intercontinental Championship reign if we get the demon in a great match at Mania. Just beyond that, we have the ta Intercontinental Continental Tag Team Champions. I'm just kidding. This is obvious. I, I know, guys. I know. I can already see the comments. Those are just two Intercontinental Championships, but they look the most like the new Women's Tag Team Championships. So I used Bailey and Sasha to, uh, obviously, I think they're going to win. I think they're going to capture the titles in the Elimination Chamber. I think it makes the most sense. I hope it happens. And we have both of them celebrating here. They're next in line for their interviews as the first ever Women's Tag Team Champions. And I think that if they go any other way, it would be a really big mistake. I think that Bailey and Sasha really need this. And it would really, uh, you know... Um Make all of that effort they put into their terrible storyline in 2018 worth it if they win these women's tag titles. And uh, the Intercontinental Championships look the most like those new women's tag titles. I actually have custom ones coming. They should be in very soon, and I'll be using those hopefully in the near future so we won't have to use these Intercontinental title belts, especially side by side there. But you guys get the point. And now that we have covered the backstage area, guys, let's move on to the MDT Arena where we have the Elimination Chamber match. So if we go inside the Elimination Chamber, guys, we got all six competitors, Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, Mustafa Ali, Samoa Joe, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles going all at it inside the chamber. Obviously, the lighting is not the best in here because I need to get some more lamps, and obviously the roof sort of prevents some lighting from coming in. But over here, we have a referee guarding the door. Obviously, the referee does have to lock those doors. Make sure nobody gets out, and that's what this referee is doing right here. Right here, we have Samoa Joe locking in the Coquita Clutch on Mustafa Ali. Again, Mustafa Ali may not be in this match, he could be replaced by Rey Mysterio or C and Almas. If you guys are seeing this and he did end up getting replaced, then obviously you guys know what happened and I am filming this prior. So I have Mustafa Ali and they're getting choked out by Samoa Joe. In the middle of the ring we have my man Jeff Hardy and he is swinging from the top of the chamber, about to drop a huge leg drop onto Daniel Bryan. Again, this elimination chamber isn't completely accurate. Obviously, it needs to be another six inches higher to be accurate, but, you know, Jax wasn't about to do that. So, it is a bit short there. I would like to add, I may, I don't know, I may customize it a little bit for my MDT elimination chamber. But for right now, we do have this beautiful Jeff Hardy coming down from the ceiling like John Morrison that one time, and he's going to drop down onto Daniel Bryan. And in the back, we have the Viper, my boy Randy Orton, hitting a devastating RKO onto that steel grate on the outside. 
Obviously, it is a matte now. It's not even, you know, still graded or still plated anymore. It is a matte. The RKO is one of the most devastating finishers in all of WWE, so I think it's going to take out AJ Styles anyway. And if it was on that steel, I think he would be eliminated. But here is the action going on. Nobody eliminated just yet in this chamber match, and it's looking devastating. But that pretty much does it for the full elimination chamber setup guys i hope you guys did enjoy i had a ton of fun you know playing around with the with the card and playing around with the chamber and setting this thing up for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy i would love to know your thoughts about the setup down below what do you think about elimination chamber on sunday i would like to know your guys thoughts plenty of more videos talking about the elimination chamber and sunday's pay-per-view coming this week guys so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.